Persepolis, the eternal song of stones. Now, I have a lot to say. Now, listen to my words and take them by heart and bear in mind all my words uttered overtly. So in the light of goodwill, honesty and good virtue, do our best for the advance of the people all over the world. Persepolis is one of the ancient monuments recorded in the Cultural Heritage World List. It is located near the Shiraz Isfahan Road, about 60 kilometers north of Shiraz, the capital city of Fars province, in the heart of the ancient Persia. This monument shows the Iranian high level of knowledge in humanity and engineering. Every part of this shell sings an eternal song of peace, knowledge, friendship, art, and beauty. Columns and ceilings, which are as high as six-story buildings, were built about 25 centuries ago. Iranians call this palace takht Jamshid, which means Jamshid's palace or Jamshid's throne. Jamshid was the fabulous king of the ancient Iran who was handsome, powerful, and just. He built splendid palaces. It was thought that his throne was transported by demons and fairies. Ferdowsi the Great, the Hammer of the East, mentioned Jamshid in his epic Shahnameh, or Book of Kings. There are different ideas about what Persepolis used to be. Capital, treasury, a kind of United Nations, an assembly of the wise and the ethic, a holy place or somewhere celebrations took place. Darius the Great began its construction about 25 centuries ago. His successors continued his work for about 180 years. According to clay tablet discovered there, they had ensured their both male and female employees. There are different ideas about the destruction of Persepolis. Some believe that Alexander the Macedonian destroyed it. Some others say it was destroyed by an earthquake. Cyrus the Great, who is referred to as a just king in the Holy Quran, founded the Achaemenian government. Plato, the renowned Greek philosopher, praised him for being just, his management and peacefulness. He conquered Babylon peacefully and freed over 10,000 Jews from slavery. They blessed him after daily prayers. Then he wrote a charter that is known as the First Declaration of Human Rights. This charter was written on a baked cylinder and kept in British Museum. It shines as a sign above all human civilization.
من با صلح و دوستی به بابل وارد شدم در این شهف و شادی مردم کاخ پادشاهان و جایگاه سلطنت را تصرف کردم سپاهیان بیشمار من با آرامش به بابل وارد شدند من بردهداری را برانداختم من از خرابی خانه های آنها مانع شدم من نگذاشتم اهالی از هستی ساقط شوند همه مردم را گرد آوردم و در خانه هایشان از نو مستقر کردم من برای همه جهانیان جامعه آرام میا ساختم منم کورش شاه شاهان شاه سمر و اکت شاه بابل شاه دادگر پسر کمبوجیه There is a double stairway in the northwest of Persepolis which embraces visitors with open arms. There are 111 stairs, each of which being 10 centimeters tall and 7 meters long in each side. Steps are shorter than usual. The nobles and elderly wise men whose images were engraved on Persepolis walls came here to make important decisions. The short steps not only preserved their dignity, but also enabled them to go up easily. Going up the stairs one faces a splendid entrance decorated with two huge bulls which stand guard on each side. It is the entrance to a small palace. According to an ancient Iranian belief, the cow was the first creature of Ahura Mazda, the god of soul and wisdom. An inscription was written above the bull's bodies at the entry and exit ways in three languages, Elamite, Old Persian, and Babylonian. Xerxes. I built this gate by the favor of Ahura Mazda for all nations who pass through it. So it was called the Gate of Nations. After passing through the entrance, we arrive at a waiting hall, the Palace of Nations. Its ceiling stood on a clay wall and four stone columns, one of which is destroyed now. The soundest column of Persepolis is among them, which was reconstructed. Guests would sit on stone chairs around the hall, waiting to be admitted to other palaces. It is decorated with two mythical animals. The outstretched wings of a high-flying eagle that was the emblem of Iranian flag, the bull's body that symbolized abundance, and the king's head is another part of this mythical animal that is known as the commander of useful animals. The huge stone of Persepolis weighs about 150,000 kilograms. It is located on the ground southeast of Nation's Palace. It was a kind of pool or waterfront.
each column in Persepolis is made up of two or three parts. They were concentrated by putting cubic lead or wood in the cubic holes which were dug on their sections. Capitals with eagle's head, cow's ear, and lion's paw that were discovered in the north of Sepahian Street, located on the top of two short columns there. They should have been put on a high column. It is said that here was a capital workshop. visitors to imagine tall walls and their locations, short muddy walls are reconstructed in their exact location in Persepolis. There is an unfinished palace in Persepolis. They wanted to build a palace similar to the nation's palace, but they were not able to finish it. Watching these palace stones help us to know how they would lay stones on and beside each other and make bas reliefs on them. Unfinished palace is an excellent place for teaching volumes in painting. This capital was on a column over 10 meters high. There are unfinished columns here whose stone have been joined with lead. Betasid as khodai ke javdan as ke hami chiz ra mibinat va bar hami chiz qadir as. و این نظم فساد ناپذیر و از بین نرفتنی و خطا ناپذیر را که زیبایی و عظمت آن و از ناپذیر است در جهان برقرار کرده است زرگزس began to construct the hundred column palace and Artaxerxes the first finished it this palace is the largest hall of the ancient world with an area of about 4600 square meters. Its 12 meter high roof was standing on 100 columns in 10 rows. So it was called the 100 column palace. There are two gates each side of the palace, bas reliefs of southern gates show the delegations of 28 nations of ancient Iran carrying king's throne on their hands while he is sitting on a chair. Visitors who would come to Persepolis became surprised that man might have been able to build this splendid palace. They thought Demon and Fairy who transported Jamshid's throne built it. So they said the king sitting on the throne was Jamshid and called here Tahte Jamshid, which means Jamshid's palace or Jamshid's throne. On the walls of northern gates, we can see the king sitting on a chair above 100 top-ranked officers who are standing in five rows.
on the eastern and western doors, the king is fighting with animals. There are two different bas-relief animals with which the king is fighting. They are bull or lion, or a component of animals as bull, lion, eagle, and scorpion. According to Ferdowsi the Great, we can conclude that the king is fighting with these animals to prove his competence to sit on kingdom throne. Four bulls and lions were carved on a stone fallen on the ground beside the western door of the northern hundred column palace terrace. Apadana means public reception. The king would receive his subjects and guests in this palace. Its hall was built by Darius the Great and Xerxes constructed its stairway. The most beautiful bas-reliefs of Persepolis were carved on the walls of the eastern stairway of this palace. It shows Iranians as a high-skilled nation in graphical arts. A lion having man's head and a pair of wings is a mythical creature that guarded treasures or temple. Lion that is attacking bull represents Nowruz, the first day of Iranian year. Speared officers' bas relief shows Iranian officers in Persian and Median costumes. The officers wearing semi-sphere hat were called Medians and the others with cylinder hat are referred to as Persians. Every Persepolis engraving was decorated with lotus flower which was considered as the Achaemenian civilization symbol. The high rank people have a flower in their hands as it was a sign of greatness, peace and friendship. It is said that 12 petals of this flower represents 12 months of the year. Representatives of the 23 provinces of Iran who are bringing their gifts can be seen on the walls of the left side of the stairway. Iranian noblemen arrayed alternately in the Persian and Median costumes are guiding the subjects to the kingdom public reception ceremony. One cypress tree, which is the symbol of eternity, separates groups from each other. We can see soldiers of the Eternal Army on the right side wall of the stairway. The army always comprised 10,000. If a soldier was killed or became ill, another man replaced him immediately. That is why they called it Eternal Army. Another bas relief of the right side shows Iranian nobles going to Apadana Palace holding lotus flower in their hands, taking each other's hand and speaking to one another friendly. They are from different provinces and cultures, so we can see dialogue among cultures here. A 
a group who are bringing carpet, chair, and the royal chariot is another scene on the right side of stairway. It seems that in Persepolis, a woman is engraved only at the center of this chariot row. Padana roof is about 20 meters high, so it's the highest and the most splendid palace of Persepolis. This palace has three terraces and one central hall with 72 high columns, showing the importance of this number in the Iranian culture. 14 tone bull or lion capitals were put on these columns. No one knows how. We can see the remainder of rectangular water vertical channels in the middle of the ruins of five meter thick walls of the palace. They led roof rainwater to an underground drainage system. خدای بزرگ است اهورا مزدا که این زمین را آفرید که آن آسمان را آفرید که مردم را خلق کرد و به مردم شادی داد میل منان است به آن که کراست است انسان دروغگو را دوست نیستند Tachar Palace is located southwest of Apadana Palace. According to the engraved inscription on its wall, Darius the Great built it. King's bas relief can be seen on the northern and southern door pillars. Stones of this palace were as polished as mirror, so it was called the Mirror Palace. This king is fighting with animals on the eastern and western door pillars. Darius the Great began to build Hadish Palace and then Xerxes finished it. Both Tachar and Hadish Palace were called with both names in inscriptions. This palace had a central hall with 36 columns. King is seen on the door pillars of the palace. Two servants are holding something similar to umbrella above his head. There is a stone water channel docking the stones from north to south of the palace to lead water out.
external tomb's view of Nakhcherostam and Persepolis is similar to external view of the palaces. Archaeologists reconstructed one of the Persepolis palaces which had been built by Xerxes. It is now Persepolis Museum. Every Persepolis column would held a capital and ceiling the top similar to these columns. Everyone who visits Persepolis is interested in knowing how Persepolis was like before being destroyed. Reconstructed views, which are created by archaeologists and painters, helps them guess. There are some columns located between the mountain and the museum. These are ruins of Persepolis treasury building. Its ceiling was lying on 8 meter high wooden pillars. Two stone boards, which were discovered here, belong to the center of Apadana eastern and northern stairways. We can observe speared officers instead of them now. It shows a scene of public reception ceremony. There are two tombs in Persepolis. Their external view is similar to the palace's external view. Resting place is a small room which is dug in mountain. Some believe that northern and southern tombs belong to Artaxerxes III and the second, respectively. There is an underground cattle in Persepolis to lead rainfall water out of Persepolis. We can enter the underground water system through a stone stairway which is located in the eastern side of the hundred column palace. A stone well with a volume of 574,000 liters was dug on the foot of the mountain. Doing this hard job is indicative of the ancient Iranians excellence. It seems that they dug this well not only to protect Persepolis from mountain flood, but also to store drinking water. One of the most important and interesting remainder of Persepolis is inscriptions. They are documents of Iranian ancient knowledge. It is said that cuneiform alphabets of these inscriptions was filled with pure gold. Almost all of Persepolis inscriptions were written in three languages, showing that it was an international place or a kind of United Nations. Every inscription begins with the praise of Ahura Mazda that manifests ancient Iranians' belief in God. O oh God, protect this country from falsehood, foe, and famine. 
It is a sentence written on Persepolis' southern wall by the order of Darius the Great. Winged man figures are seen among Persepolis' bas-reliefs. Zoroastrians call it Farivahar, which is a part of human that belongs to Ahura Mazda and goes back to him after death. This imaginary bas-relief contains different parts. Side wings show good thought, good speech, and good deed that help human to fly and progress. Bad thought, bad speech, and bad deed are shown as lower wings which destroy human. He is praying with his right hand to God. The circle in his left hand is a symbol of God's friendship. There is a circle around his body that symbolizes life. Human moves around this circle. We will see the consequences of what we do in the future. Central Palace, which was built by Artaxerxes I, is located at the center of Persepolis with three gates. It is said that King, his successor, and ministers sat here to make important decisions, so it is called Central, Three Pylon, or Council Palace. King's bas relief is seen as he is going out through south and north door pillars of the palace. Lotus flower decorates the pivot of doors. We can see King and his successor sitting on a throne carried on delegation's hands at the eastern door pillars. Capitals of this palace is in the shape of human head on an animal body. The noble's bas relief can be seen on its stairway wall. There is a stone on the ground in the center of this palace. It is said that this stone was used as a calendar. There was a hole at the eastern wall. Sunlight would shine through it to the center of this stone during the sunrise at the first day of the year and autumn. An inscription was discovered that shows the ancient Iranian astronomers could predict exact time and location of solar and lunar eclipse.
راستی بهترین خوشبختی است خوشبخت کسی است که خواهان خوشبختی دیگران باشد